Yaho, 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 and welcome back to my channel, YouTube. I am Super GNT, and this is your coronavirus update. So to begin today's segment, let's take a look at what World Meter says the global total of cases around the world is. 126,380 confirmed cases. Confirmed does not mean unconfirmed. There are probably a lot more unconfirmed cases as opposed to confirmed ones. So we're going to go take a look at some of the numbers. China, I don't know. Italy, 12,462 cases. What? Iran, 9,000 cases. South Korea, South Korea has been decreasing. I wonder what they're doing to capture this capture this virus. They haven't been progressing as rapidly as beforehand. So 7,869 cases. France, 2,281 cases. Spain, 2,277 cases. The USA, 1,329 cases. Japan, 639. And where's Norway? 629. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And the list is longer than ever. So that's what World Meter is saying about the global crisis. Let's let's take a look at the tweet I saw earlier today. This isn't a tweet, but this is an article written up about the president's decision to US to suspend most travel from Europe. NBA season paused after player gets virus. President Trump says restricting travel from Europe is necessary. President Trump announced on Wednesday night that he was taking action to stem the spread of the coronavirus by suspending most travel from Europe to the United States for 30 days, beginning on Friday. The restrictions do not apply to Britain, he said. Mr. Trump imposed a 30-day ban on foreigners who have been in the 26 countries that make up the European Union's the European Union's Schengen area in the previous two weeks. The limits take effect Friday at midnight and will, look, and will exempt American citizens and permanent legal residents and their families, although they could be funneled to certain airports for enhanced screening. I didn't know what exempt meant, so I went and I searched it up. So basically speaking, American citizens can still return to the US, which is good for me and other Americans here in Spain. <clears throat> Later on Wednesday night, the State Department issued an advisory telling Americans to reconsider travel to all countries because of the global effects of the coronavirus. It is the department's second strongest advisory behind do not travel, do not travel, which is the first one. Speaking from the Oval Office, Mr. Trump also said health insurance companies had agreed to extend insurance coverage to coverage coronavirus to cover coronavirus treatments as well as wave related copayments. <clears throat> The president, sitting behind the Resolute desk with his arms crossed, finally appeared to be acknowledging the severity of the virus, calling it a horrible infection, and acknowledging that the Americans should cut back on travel that was not necessary. This is not a financial crisis, he said. This is just a temporary moment in time that we will overcome as a nation and a world. I agree. I agree with this. The address capped a day when concerns about about the threat of the virus seemed to reach a new pitch and measures to protect vulnerable populations began to upend regular life across the country. Many schools announced they would close indefinitely. Some nursing homes banned visitors and workplaces across the country urged their employees to work from home. This is serious stuff. You can read the full article. I'll put a link in the description. But now I want to get to this one because I haven't read this one yet. The NBA suspends its season after a player gets the virus. The NBA was suspended season after a Utah Jazz player was found to have tested positive for the coronavirus, the league announced on Wednesday. The league said the suspension would take effect after the completion of Wednesday's schedule. In Oklahoma City, a game between the Thunder and the Jazz was seconds away from starting when the Thunder's head medical staffer sprinted onto the court to, to talk to the referees. Players from both teams then left for their locker rooms. The NBA will use this hiatus to determine next steps for moving forward in regards to the coronavirus pandemic, the league said in the statement. <clears throat> Earlier Wednesday, the NC, 
AA announced that its men and women's basketball tournaments, the grandest annual exhibition in U.S. college sports, will be played with only essential staff and limited family attendance. While I understand how disappointing this is for all the fans of our sports, my decision is based on our current understanding of how COVID-19 is progressing in the United States, Mark Emmert, the NCAA president, said in the statement. The move will allow the games to go for the benefit benefit of television audiences, but in a dramatic, dramatically different playing atmosphere than it is certain to change the tenor of the tournament. Wow. Italy orders business to close, tightening its lockdown. There are more articles. There are so many articles updating about the severity of this virus. Hey, YouTube, I would just like to say that if you didn't start taking this seriously a couple of days ago or maybe even weeks ago it's a great time right now to start taking this seriously like i don't know if you saw that video that i uploaded about the the supermarket that stuff is real the supermarket that's by my house is actually really well stocked but that that scare tactic thing is real man i mean like this stuff is happening you're not preparing for the virus you're preparing for pandemic you're preparing for fear because if anything that i've noticed this virus leads to something a lot more dangerous than the actual virus, which is fear. And you don't want people, you don't want to be there. You don't want to be in a state of fear because you're just going to increase the likelihood that you're going to contract it because it's important to stay positive right now. And by staying positive, it's taking precautions, but not letting it disrupt your life. You know, take precautions, but don't let it disrupt your life. Don't get all down in the dumps because you can't go to an NBA game or because you don't have, you have to go grocery shopping to buy food to supplies for the next couple of weeks. Really take control, YouTube. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, follow, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Bye-bye.